Me, Jamal and Daniel went to North Acton to visit Neil Tate at his studio. The studio, it was big, but then it was really messy, so you only could walk at one side of the room. Neil, which particular painting of yours was chosen for the exhibition at the Tate and why? Um, the painting that was chosen was, um, was this painting. It was a painting, the title of the painting is Country Booby. It's painted with a contemporary version of uh, tempera paint. I'm pleased that they've chosen this particular one to be in the exhibition because I think it represents um, some of the concerns that I have in, in terms of making work and the kind of imagery. Neil, what artists influence you the most? Like comic book artists, like um, like the artists that did artwork for fanzines, what you, what you might describe as kind of lo-fi, low-tech, and that was something that I wanted to emulate. I had no idea about contemporary artists. The thing that I was aware of was that, like, artists that people would talk about would be, most of them, well, they were dead. I was just gonna give you a, an idea about like, how I might go about starting a painting, and it can be something something really random, like a picture from a, a newspaper. He would just like find images from the newspaper. And he uses um, acetate sheets and he traces over them with a marker pen. So I'll just do it very quickly. You're forced to uh, abbreviate the image. The, the great thing about using the acetate is that you can overlay that. I read online that you use your paintings and drawings to like create parallel universes. I'm interested in creating something that, that is, um, while, while recognisable, that it perhaps doesn't relate to uh, a, a kind of realistic experience. Perhaps there are many, many things going on outside of what we, we kind of understand. And um, if this is all there is, then it's, um, it's pretty grim. He uses a projector to project the image onto uh, like a, a used uh, poster or anything that could be reused. And he'll use the paint really uh, watery and he'll start painting it really quick. It's like, you know, I might, I might make a whole group of these, might maybe like 10, 15 images very quickly without thinking about them too much. I think one of the things about painting is that it should feel exciting and it should feel like it should feel good fun a lot of the time the images that i work with come out of the, the process of working so when i start out i don't really know which direction the painting is going to go in and i while i'm working i want the, the the painting to start to suggest to me ways in which it wants to be finished he really starts merging the uh, different pictures together to create one whole picture. Right now it's like a, a kind of tusk. And then it starts to become more abstract. I see making work as, as an opportunity to make a kind of special place and if I go back to thinking about why I wanted to make artwork in the first place that was that was to provide a, a, a space where I could exist and think about the world. You know, the image is um, developing almost before I can understand it. I don't want to impose my kind of limited imagination on, on things. I want something to surprise me in, in, the, in the kind of making. It doesn't have to be special paint, and it isn't necessarily about, about being skillful. It can be about just, um, just having an, a, like a like a moment of kind of openness and just accepting things that are given to you in that, that moment. I found Neil Tate's work to be quite abstract, experimental, so it was really different from what previous painters normally do with watercolour. I was saying Neil Tate influenced me by not to take painting too seriously, you have to have fun with it. It was like he worked, he just, it just happened as he went along. He used different images and like it was a picture of Charles and Camilla and by the time he finished it it ended up like looking like a zombie and like there was like a train coming out of her mouth and stuff like that. So. We had to show a presentation about Neil Tate. Go through the newspaper and like 
find some interesting images and then trace them. And then like recreate them on the paper using the watercolors. No take actually. He made it look easy, but then when you do it, it's really completely, like, it's more harder because you have to find where to position the images and what colors to use. This experience has changed a lot of what I thought about watercolors because before I thought it was, um, it was structured like it was neat and you have to make it really look nice. But now Neil Tate has shown us that it can be more fun and abstract and you can try and to change it to anything that you want it to be.